am Tim Anderson from Bismarck, North Dakota, and I integrated Solea into my practice about three years ago. I initially wanted to do things for anesthesia-free dentistry, and what it has done is opened up a door more immense and more profound than I ever could imagine on my practice. So the Solea laser is truly unique based on the physics of how it operates. It utilizes a digital touch stream, a rheostat that's variable in pressure and intensity, and a handpiece that refracts and uses mirrors to control a beam. The reason Solea is so unique is that at its 9.3 micron wavelength, it is at the peak absorption for hydroxyapatite. What that means is that it is meant to cut teeth. And as a general dentist, and in wanting an all-tissue laser, it's the only all-tissue laser that is truly meant for dentistry. It truly becomes a tissue-selective laser. And what I mean by that is, based on how much pressure you put on the rheostat and what size spot size you pick, you can manipulate and remove specifically different tissues, whether that's enamel, dentin, cementum, caries, bone, all the soft tissues and hard tissues that we want to manipulate as general dentists. The crazy part is you already know how to use this because everything that is built here is based on similarities of how we already operate. And what I mean by that is the handpiece looks and feels very similar to our electric handpieces, okay? It's balanced with counterweights and the ergonomics make it almost weightless. To initiate the laser, you pick your spot size, you choose how much water mist you want, and then depending on what you're cutting, you can pick different size or settings of your speed. And basically the speed is the energy that you're giving. All of this is then controlled by the rheostat. So we'll kind of take a peek and see what it looks like in action. So when we cut a prep, we approach it a little bit differently than we do with a burp. So what we'll end up doing is giving a little bit of energy and then ramping up. And what you'll initially hear is the sound of the enamel being ablated. And what you'll also notice is that bright plume. What that plume is, is that is the ablation of the enamel as it cuts. You'll notice that I move very slowly as I'm ablating this tissue. It's not a back and forth painting motion. You have to give time to allow the tissues to respond to the energy you're giving. As you penetrate through different layers of tooth, the water concentration changes. And so as I get through this enamel, you'll notice that the plume all of a sudden starts disappearing. And what we're doing is we're now into dentin. So based on the visual and the auditory cues, we now know what tissue we're cutting. And I can vary the intensity based on that tissue. Soft tissue, you have the specificity and the uniqueness to be able to be as gentle and remove only a very thin layer of the apple skin. And that would be similar to like an aphthous ulcer. You have full control. Notice I don't change any settings. And just by varying the foot pedal, I'm able to not only remove that first layer, but now I can go into that inner layer of tissue. This would be very similar to uncovering a dental implant. So by not changing anything on the actual slay itself other than the spot size, I can give it more energy. And now I can create an incision line that I could use for a flap. So you have all this ability with the same device without changing anything. So this opens a door from efficiency from being able to go from cutting enamel, cutting dentin, cutting the caries, doing a gingivectomy, all with the same instrument. So it really is a very impactful thing in what it can do for your practice.